My husband won't stop texting his coworker and doesn't even bother hiding it from me anymore. Disclaimer is not my story time, I said I mean on Instagram. My husband got a new job about a year ago. He finally started earning a lot of money and he really loves his job. I'm a substitute teacher, so at the time we were really broke. We were desperate for one of us to get a better job. A few weeks after he started his new job, his boss threw a party so that we could all get to know each other. And this is when I met Karen. Karen right away came up to me and tried to make me feel like she was my best friend. She started talking to me about really personal stuff right away. In other words, she was trying to let me know that I could trust her because she was telling me her deepest darkest secrets but i don't fall for that kind of shit easily as the barbecue went on i kept noticing that she would talk to my husband a lot and my husband would reciprocate if he was at the bar she was at the bar if she was trying to grab food he was trying to grab food i called my husband out on it and he told me that they were really close friends at work and that she was basically his work wife i told him he needed to stop that real quick otherwise i would move in with my parents For the rest of the barbecue he behaved like a little lamb only two weeks later i find messages between them part two is up Husband won't stop texting his coworker and doesn't even bother hiding it from me anymore. Disclaimer is not always direct time instead of me on Instagram. Two weeks later, I find messages from Karen on his phone. At that point, I had completely forgotten about Karen. My husband and I try to do date nights every single week. On this one occasion, we sit down at a restaurant and his phone kept going off, hanging almost every single minute. He wouldn't turn off the sound. Seventh time it rang, I decided to pick up the phone only to silence it. I mean, at this point, I have no reason to not trust him. But when I take a quick glance at the messages, it said work wife. My blood instantly began to boil. That's when he tried to take the phone from me, but I pulled it back. I opened the messages and see that they were having a conversation about me and him going to dinner. And how jealous she was that she couldn't come with him. Mind you, we're sitting in the middle of a restaurant. That's when my husband says, go ahead and read it. I don't give a shit. I look at him and I couldn't recognize him. Like, I literally could not recognize his face. He looked like a different man. He was no longer the considerate, loving husband. He was now just some other guy texting another girl. As I read through the messages, the tears started flowing down my face. And I made a scene. I told him he needed to stop texting her. Then he says, no, I like her. Why would I stop? My husband won't stop texting his coworker and doesn't even bother to hide it from me. Disclaimer is not my story time instead of me on Instagram. That's when he told me that he liked her and why would he stop texting her. I actually had to sit there at the restaurant and explain to my 30-year-old husband why it was inappropriate for him to be texting his work wife. He said they were doing nothing wrong by texting each other. That's when I told him that if he didn't stop texting her that he could forget about me. He said that there was nothing wrong with him having friends. I told him that friends shouldn't tell each other that they're jealous if they're going out with their wife. And he explained that it was just banter. And she loves playing at being jealous. Ew! Then he said this. Would you rather me hide the messages from you? My stomach sank. This man clearly does not understand that what he's doing is wrong. We've never had a problem like this before. We've been married three years and this has never been a thing. I got up from the restaurant and took an Uber home. Do you think he chased me? No. It wouldn't be another four hours until he got home. I asked him where he'd been and he told me that he was just chilling at the restaurant. For four hours? I asked him once again if he would stop texting her and he said no. That again, they were not doing anything wrong. But their messages were like boyfriend and girlfriend messages. Things like, what do you want for lunch this week? I miss you. I'm jealous that you're going to dinner with your wife. After he said no, I packed my overnight bag and I went to his parents house my parents lived two hours from me I told his parents everything and they went over to talk to him right away and they were pissed his dad even threatened him to take him out of his will his parents have my back and told me that I could stay with them but instead I went home to my parents I also just found out that Karen has a boyfriend should I tell her man or should I just divorce my husband and forget the whole thing what ofs am I the asshole for yelling at my husband when he ate some of my chocolate and making him drive across the city to replace them I'm eight and a half months pregnant and driving sucks so my mom drives me around because my husband is working huge hours to get ahead before the baby comes. Last month, she drove me to my favorite chocolate store and I stocked up on my favorite flavors. They're wrapped in colorful foil so you can tell the flavor. The store is also about an hour's drive away from home. My husband knows my favorite flavor. Half the bag was originally that flavor, but now it's just even with the others. Yesterday, while watching TV, I asked if he could bring me some chocolates. He did and also grabbed a few for himself. No problem there. When he kissed me, I knew what flavor he took. Am I the asshole for yelling at my husband when he ate some of my chocolate and making him drive across the city to replace them? He admitted he took my favorite chocolate and I got kind of upset and he said it was no big deal. I could go with my mom and get more. Yes, this company sells their chocolate everywhere, but that flavor I've only seen in this store. I asked if he had been eating that flavor a lot and his face told me everything I needed to know. I yelled at him that it's not easy for me to sit in a car for two hours. He said he would go out right now and replace him and he hit a couple drugstores and a couple grocery stores and they all told him the same thing. So he drove across town and got a big bag of just that flavor. My mom said my hormones are making me crazy and my husband's a little grumpy. Am I the asshole for telling my sister to stop taking showers with her husband in my house? My female 32, sister 28 and her husband 32 male moved in with us two days ago. They lost their apartment to medical debts for their child and my husband and I are more than happy to have them stay for a few weeks. 
However, yesterday at 7 p.m., I was in the kitchen when my husband rushed in and said he saw both my sister and her husband walk out of the bathroom. So they'd most likely taken a shower together. My husband said that it irked him and I agreed what they did was somewhat inappropriate. He asked me to talk to my sister about it and I did. She got defensive asking how this is affecting me or my husband. Am I the asshole for telling my sister to stop taking showers with her husband in my house? I told her it made my husband feel uncomfortable and would rather they just shower separately. She ranted about being overwhelmed by their son's health problems and not having time together alone. They found this activity as bonding time to spend together. I apologized but still requested that she just do as asked. She got mad and said I was being inconsiderate and said she didn't understand my husband's hang up and what her and her husband do. We argued and she stormed off to the guest room. She's not speaking to me, but my husband said I did the right thing by speaking to her and setting this boundary. So are me and my husband overreacting to this? Am I the asshole for calling my husband insane for missing work just to teach me a lesson because I didn't iron his uniform? Days ago, I, stay-at-home mom with three, was in the midst of doing laundry when my husband, breadwinner, works as a pilot, asked if I could iron his uniform before his shift. I didn't say yes because I was busy, laundry, then kids, homework, then cooking, etc. I said I may not find the time to do it. He turned around and walked away completely ignoring what I was saying. An hour later, he came downstairs, freaking out asking why I didn't iron his uniform when he asked me to. I told him I was busy and reminded him of how I didn't say yes to his request. He blew up saying that I obviously don't care about him displaying quote professionalism at work. Um, It's just a uniform. It's not like it was dirty, just needed some ironing. He lectured me about how his work is important and although I'm a stay-at-home mom, I still should make his job a priority. Am I the asshole for calling my husband insane for missing work just to teach me a lesson because I didn't iron his uniform? He decided to miss his shift as a way to teach me a lesson and show me how my lack of cooperation and my refusal to help him out could affect the money that keeps coming in. I called him insane for missing the shift and he got offended and called me a hypocrite for calling him insane and acted all surprised when it was me who caused this situation to happen. I mean, I could have taken some time off doing my chores to iron his uniform but still thought his reaction was a bit much. For those asking why he didn't iron the uniform himself, because I'm the one who usually does the ironing, and he said it's on the list of my house chores list, which is true, but I don't give it a priority like other chores such as homework or laundry. So what do you guys think? In my opinion, it's not the 1950s, and this is a little weird. Am I the asshole for my reaction when I learned that my fiancé returned my wedding dress and replaced it with the one his mom picked for me? My fiancé, male 33, and I, female 28, are getting married in December. His mom is the intrusive type, but she's nice overall and we somewhat get along. I hate to admit that wedding planning has been an absolute nightmare. His mom wasn't willing to agree on most things, and my fiancé said that since he's her only son, that I should respect and appreciate this, quote, vision she has for the wedding and how it should be. She insisted to come along for wedding dress shopping. I took her with me and my mom and friends. I was so lucky to have found what I was looking for, but she picked a dress that she liked so much and said that she always pictured her son's bride in it. My mom and friends thought this line was creepy. I thought the dress was somewhat creepy and totally not my type. I apologized and thanked her for her vision, but told her that I'd already decided on a dress that I had envisioned myself wearing at my wedding. She got all pissy because of it apparently, then must have told my fiancé because he came home in the evening ranting about how I made his mom upset and turned down her help in choosing the wedding dress and excluded her from the process. I asked what process? Duh, it's just a wedding dress. My wedding dress. So I really didn't get how she should get a say at all. Am I the asshole for my reaction when I learned that my fiancé returned my wedding dress and replaced it with the one his mom picked for me? He got upset and said that this attitude of mine isn't working on him or his mom. He said that I should consider the dress his mom wanted me to buy, especially knowing that both dresses weren't that much different anyway. Like she said, but I told him yes, they were different, very much different. Anyways, we argued about it, then we dropped it. Yesterday I came home and found out that he had returned my wedding dress and replaced 
replaced it with the one his mom wanted. I called him and he was straightforward about what he did and why he did it. I lost it and started screaming at him. He asked me to calm down and really give this dress a chance. I refused to even listen. I screamed at him without giving him a chance to speak. He got home and we had an argument. I then went to stay with one of my friends and he kept calling and calling and then texting saying that I overreacted and it's his wedding too so it wasn't cool how I screamed at him. He insisted I give this dress a chance. He went on and on about how his mom has a vision and good intentions and just wants what's best for me as her future daughter-in-law. My mom is livid and has been wanting to go scream at him and his mom, but my dad said that this isn't worth ruining my relationship with my in-laws. He suggested I wisen up and go with the flow, but is it too much for me to be able to pick my own wedding dress without being guilted about it just to keep the peace? Am I the asshole for my reaction? I introduced my girlfriend to my parents, siblings, and extended family on a family get-together a few days ago. This was the first time I had seen them since the start of the pandemic and it started out really well with everyone getting along and having fun. That would change as more alcohol was consumed. My girlfriend and brother got into a heated political argument that suddenly escalated to violence resulting in substantial injuries for the both of them. Accounts of who threw the first punch differ and I frankly don't care as they both actively contributed to the fight and antagonized each other. The fight was eventually broken out when my girlfriend had the clear advantage. My mom screamed at my girlfriend to leave so we left. I love both my girlfriend and my brother and I don't blame either one of them for the fight more than I blame the other. My girlfriend also doesn't seem to hold any grudges and is embarrassed by her behavior during the incident. My brother and my parents, on the other hand, place 100% of the blame on my girlfriend and demand that I break up with her or they will have to cut ties with me. I will not do that, but I want to maintain my relationship with my family and somehow get them to accept my girlfriend and that she should not bear all the blame in this incident. My brother is also demanding that my girlfriend pay for his alleged medical expenses and is threatening to report her to the police if she refuses. My experience of growing up in this town makes me think that sexism in the local police department makes it unlikely that anything would come out of the report, as they would most certainly refuse to consider the possibility that a woman can insult a man. I have offered to pay for my brother, but my girlfriend refuses to let me do it and that she says that she'll pay for it if he can prove that the medical expenses are real. My girlfriend still clearly has visible injuries but did not visit a hospital. I suggested that she go get her injuries documented, but she doesn't want to do that. I just wish that everyone could forget about this and move forward, but I feel like my family's acting unreasonably and perhaps I should just cut contact with them as they're threatening to do with me. I don't know what I should do.